like to talk for a bit about uh, my sometimes struggle with learning uh, insight meditation. By insight meditation, I'm talking about the kind of insight meditation or vipassana that it can be found in the Kaju tradition in as part of Mahamudra meditation. And about learning about it. And I've, I've learned to use insight meditation mostly in two ways. One, one is to, uh, in my photography, which is where I first discovered it, which would be another story. And secondly, in writing uh, pieces like this. Now, it's not what I, what I choose to write about that's so important. It's not, not the topic but it's my need to continually write that I have to better understand. The process of writing and its relationship to insight meditations seems to be the point at issue here. If we are grinding grain and we stop turning the handle, there will be no more grain ground. So for me, the process of insight meditation is not completely automatic although more or less it may as well be, or is getting there. I, I'm still learning it. All, all of this reminds me of the math, mathematical model of a torus, um, which turns itself inside out and outside in. It's a rotating symbol that can be viewed from all angles. I am gradually becoming skilled at this form of meditation even if itself, it's formless. It's one of the realization practices or formless kinds of meditation. This need on my part to do insight meditation is very close to just what I'm naturally doing. In other words, the two are merging and jumping back and forth one to another and it's becoming obvious enough that I'm become, I've become tired of doing that jumping. One thing that is certain is that the process of realization will never cease because it's, it's by definition continuous. Realization is not a state or a place we get to, but it's a process that we have to continually do just like breathing is a process. Therefore, whatever uncomfortableness that I experience, it's not, it's not about to go away other than becoming perhaps the norm. It may become invisible to me by its commonness that I do it all the time, but I'm not there yet. Anyway, I guess this is a good sign that I welcome it, if only to, pur to purify it ever finer so that I become the awareness itself and not just be aware of it. Awareness does not need an object other than itself. And there's no difference between the baby and the bathwater, and no reason to run Michael Earlywine, my personality, out of town either. It's no longer important. Things can be just what they are, which is much easier than trying to change them. When all is said and done, there's only just the whole enchilada, as I like to say, the whole thing. It doesn't have a subject, it doesn't have an object, we're just in it. 